la la <laughs> Going for a ride Do la la Okie dokie, let's go Right, hello everyone Thought I'd do a proper video today Considering yesterday I tried and failed miserably Um, My last video was uploaded way way later than it should have due to youtube so that's why i'm doing one today um i'll be doing a few things regarding it i'm gonna do a review on a movie that i've just seen today which is epic everyone should go and see it it's called eddie the eagle yep a few people are gonna think ah it's crap yeah the trailer didn't look great but trust me go see it it's a great film i was laughing all the way through uh, also, I will review again the bike um, and just talk at a bollocks today, really, because I've got to go and get sent before work and I've got to be in work in an hour, ever really. Oh, really? <laughs> Looks like I'm going to be late. Uh, that's what happens on a Friday. Think I have to start at three? No, start at two. Go, go, go. So, yeah, regarding the film, it starts off of him being a little boy, always wanting to be an Olympian, as he calls it. And his father isn't very supportive in the matter, if I tell you the truth. He tries hurdles, he tries all kinds of stuff, but because he's poor, he tries to build his own equipment. And yeah, all else fails. So he decides one day to go work with his dad, sees a ski slope and decides to go for the Olympics, the winter ones. Um, starts winning medals for skiing and is chosen to go forward for to be picked for one of the recipients to be in the Winter Olympics. But because it's a comedy film, he messes up and then they tell him he's never going to be an Olympian. Um, being the demanding person he looks and is, he makes, he proves everyone wrong. Which, like anyone else, I'd prove them wrong. Um, unfortunately, the funny parts are is when he hurts himself, he keeps falling off the slope. It is hilarious. Um, I rate it, I'd say 9 out of 10 on the laughter scale. Film overall, yeah, we all know what's going to happen really on that. But it was a good film. So if anyone wants to see it at the cinema, I highly recommend going to watch it. Well, let's go around the life track like this. Everyone's going to say, get out of the bike lane, get out of the bike lane on my bike. I might not be a bicycle, but I'm still a bike. So, there's that. Regarding the bike, I don't, at the moment, I was doing 40 there and the revs were up to 5. Indicating that I was over revving it a little bit, but as you can tell, the bike pulls off the line dramatically here. You go, you twist, it goes. It's got enough power under it. Okay, some people might say, it's a 125, it's a 125, it's crap. Until someone actually sits on it and has a go. Now, one of my work colleagues the other day said, 125s are rubbish. He's got a 1,000cc. So, we wait until everyone finishes work and I ask him to have a go. What does he do? Get on it, twist it, and he's surprised how much torque is underneath him. Now, if anyone wants to buy one, I highly recommend buying one. I don't highly recommend modifying it like I have because it's just for my benefit at the moment. Um, any of the fools of guys out there that's looking at this video, your brake blocks have actually got, on the side of them, they've got two little screws. Now, if I remember rightly, that is for mirrors. Now, if anyone, if that's wrong, Please correct me. Um, 
the reason I'm asking that is some people are saying that they're not too sure about their mirrors. Now, I'm thinking you can go on eBay and buy an adapter for the mirrors. Why not buy two additional ones? If that's your thing. Really. If it's not your thing, don't do it. It's just my idea. Really. I'm going to slow down because I can see one of my mates says, slow down Rob, slow down. Because, yeah, it's 40 and I'm, I was doing 55 there. So you know who you are. I apologise, I was going fast. I'm being careful, I promise. Right, um, as you can tell, I am going into Sainsbury's. I've got to go to Sainsbury's before work because I'm starving and I can't be asked to cook. And that's really about it, really. Um, I will do another video shortly regarding my previous video on China's death and the way WWE handled it and also upcoming events. I'm going to start doing movie reviews, I think. Okay, my The Eddie the Eagle one isn't great because, to tell the truth, I was half awake and half asleep when I was watching it. So I will have to rewatch it again once it comes out on DVD. Um... So, but I will be buying that on DVD or Blu-ray, whatever, which I choose. I don't know at the moment. But, um, yeah, so anyone thinking of buying one of these, buy one. Anyone thinking of buying, well, going to watch Eddie the Eagle and not quite sure, watch it. And everyone out there on the bikes, ride safely. If you're driving a car, you're pretty much safe anyway because you're in a car. Watch out for us. That's what I say. And I'll catch you all later. Hope you have a nice day. Just a quick look. I suppose nice everyone can see that bike. How big is that bloody stand on that bike? Look, the front wheel's right up in the air. That's crazy. Everyone's all right.